Today let's talk about the confusing issues of posting dates, how they're set up, why they're set up, and how to use them. We're going to start with where they're set up. Now you may not have access to this window, but at least you can get an understanding of what some of the options are. I'm in the administrative view, under setup, posting, and we'll choose posting. And for today's purpose, we're going to look at the payables transaction entry window, but all the posting options are set up exactly the same. All right, the first question is post to or post through. You always want to have post to marked because that's how the payables module integrates to the general ledger. So if you ever want to stop payables from talking to general ledger at all, that's how you turn it off. And unless you're just using it for payables, that's not really a good option to do. The next button is post through general ledger. Now this means when I post it in payables, does it post automatically in the general ledger as well? Now, unless you want to do batch approval, I recommend that you turn this feature on so that all your batches are posted in real time and your analytics are updated accordingly. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at that's real important is about this posting date option. Do we get the posting date from the batch or from the transaction? Now, this is the real question. Every transaction except a general ledger journal entry has two dates the date of the transaction, and the general ledger posting date. And these can be different dates. So the question here is, do we want them to be different dates? Do we want to have that capability? And if it's set to batch, then you can have, for example, in payables, invoices for April, May, and June, and post them all to June. If you use transaction date, they'll automatically post into the general ledger by the same date of the transaction. So let's take a look at how this works now. Let's go to payables and under transaction entry we're going to go to or under transactions we're going to go to transaction entry. And let's just start keying in an invoice. Now I'm going to leave the batch blank for this time around. And I'm going to choose Allen's and Properties. And we'll put in document number 100 and we'll make the amount 100. Now, we have the option here of keeping this uh, document date. This is the actual invoice date. But we can also click on this expansion window and change the date it posts to in the general ledger. So I'm going to do that now and change it to May 1st. By default, it'll use the transaction date, but you can manually change it if you want to do a transaction level posting. But it does require clicking on the expansion box and making the change. So let's go ahead and post this one. Now let's key in another one. Except this time, we're going to key in a batch. Oh, it looks like that batch exists, so we'll create one called test. And here we have the batch date. Now this is the posting date for the general ledger. And again, I want to make this 5-1. It doesn't matter what the invoices are dated, but they'll go in the general ledger on 5-1. I'm going to choose the same vendor, and this time I'll do invoice 200 and make it for $200. Just checking the distribution. All right, and now you'll notice because it's in a batch, we can't post. So we'll save, and let's open up that batch. These are our posting reports for the one we created without the batch. And now let's post the batch. Now let's go in General Ledger and see what the result is. So I'm going to once it finishes, I'll go into the financial series and under inquiry we'll just go to general journal entry and look at the last entry. Now here's my $200 invoice that I created. In general ledger it's stated 5-1 and if I drill down you can see the invoice that I created, invoice uh, number 200 and the document date is 412. And again if I click on the expansion button I can see the actual invoice date and the general ledger posting date. Now let's go back to the previous one. It was for $100. And we can see the general ledger posting date is 5-1. And if we drill down, we can see the invoice that I keyed in, invoice number 100. And it's dated 412. And again, you can see in the expansion window, both are done. So that's how you can control posting dates in the system. And it doesn't matter which kind of transaction you're keying in, this will always apply. Hope this helps.